Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. What I'm getting here because I see this card here and it says stepping stone. Somebody thought that something perhaps was going to be forever and it turned out not to be. And this person is now a hot mess. Somebody may need to clean themselves or their ego. Oh, yeah, chaos. And then you have your higher power. Wow. Fluidity and good news. Passion and learning, the hidden boredom. Okay, so first of all, we could be talking about somebody here who is a spiritualist of some, some kind. Um, this could be a practitioner, a reader, whatever. Okay, um, picking up hermit like energy as in somebody here who enjoys learning this is the kind of person who likes to investigate and study things all right you have here chaos and stepping stone so first of all whatever is being sent towards you to create some kind of difficulty in your life it was a part of your journey because it is it's a stepping stone okay it was something that you needed to go through for you to get to wherever it is that you're going you have here um, with fluidity and higher power, I feel like you have a very, very um, clear channel between you and God, you, the, the universe, the birds, the moon, the, the, the stars, whatever, whatever source is for you. And it looks like you're receiving good news about something that you're passionate about, something that you learn how to do. Now, we have here the hidden card and board. Um, I'm getting so many different things. <laughs> Somebody here... I feel started to study certain things, okay? And they may have hid this from you. I'm, I'm definitely picking up the kind of person, this could be like a reader or somebody who is hiding, somebody is hiding the fact that they're doing magic, okay? Let me just stop beating around the bush. Somebody is hiding the fact that they, they're doing magic or they're very manipulative, they're two-faced, they're gossiping, they're doing something that they should not be doing, okay? This is a hidden enemy, okay? For some of you, you need to move in silence. Whatever you're doing, you need to keep it hidden, okay? I feel like you have a person out here that right now, they're bored. They're wanting more out of life, okay? They want more of a change. They want more out of life. Um, and you're, this could be you f feeling very tested and tried, okay? And it's sort of like you're... You're being asked to, of course, say the course because, you know, are you the truth or not? So, yeah, you're being tested and tried at this time. But there's something here that you need to be careful of because somebody is constantly going around and around and around and around with throwing you some type of chaos. I've had several readings picking this type of energy up. I don't know. It's, it has a lot to do, I guess, with us being in this eclipse season with Pluto going direct last week. Um... I'm recording this around the time of, you know, it's it's in October. So whatever you hear the reading is when you're meant to receive it. But I don't know if it's because Halloween is coming up. We just had a new moon. Next week, we're going to have a full moon, which is, you know, a um, an eclipse. I don't know what this is, but for some of you, you may have several different um, hidden enemies, like people who just don't really have good, good or, or kind things to say about you or whatever. I feel like your enemies right now, though, the chaos that they're sending out towards you, they should be bored with doing this by now because the chaos is not, it's not affecting you. I feel like it's affecting them. Like some of you with this fluidity card here, you're, you're just adapting. Like you are kind of going with the flow right now because you know that there's something bigger and better for you. Higher power, passion, and good news. Yeah. And I, I feel, too, that a lot of people who, especially they've been using like divination or something else to spy on you, whatever you're doing, it's, it's hidden. And that's really, really driving these people up the wall. The fact that they don't know what's happening. Yeah, this round and round lightning and death 
it's been a waiting game here of someone trying to have you in isolation, you know, because they didn't want you to know the truth or see the truth about your own dreams or your creativity. Somebody may have um, plans or a goal to like buy a home, change something in their home because the relocation card is here, relocating, but it's like whatever you want to do, you need to keep it to yourself, okay? For some of you, it's like you're going to be the leadership card here, just doing something I, behind leadership was the world. So it's like you have some kind of big project that you're working on, and I'm telling you, you need to keep it to yourself, but somebody has been in the background going around and around and around trying to apply some kind of hidden knowledge that they have to create a lot of difficulty and burdens in your life. This is just somebody who wants to go against you. Like they, Somebody just has that out for you. Okay, and for some of you, it's multiple people. Yeah, but you have here good health. So I would say at this time, really focus on your health. Focus on, you know, mending any wounds around the heart space, the heart chakra. Okay, this card says changing nutrition nutrition habits. So you could be working on your health, your fitness, starting some kind of diet. Some of you, you just need to like, just not even for the the sake of just looking better, but also feeling better, moving, moving your body around, getting rid of some of this energy. There could be some kind of stuck, stagnant energy or even just some kind of energetic blockage, especially with your heart chakra. So for some of you, breath work or something, like yoga or breath work, breath work may help you releasing some of this tension because somebody keeps on trying to get into your energy. And there you with the owl card here, it's like somebody is trying to for sure use some kind of witchcraft or magic to cause this chaos and conflict in your life. They want you to feel, I don't know, like this this person, they just, I don't know, it's like an obsession with just having you go through hell. This is somebody who feels like they have unfinished business with you. Or they just, or with unfinished, they don't want you to complete something delays here and rebuilding somebody doesn't want you to move forward with your life so this could be somebody that you once had something with you could have had a, a business with this person um you definitely had something solid with this person it could have been a friendship relationship whatever they just want things to be up in the air with you this is someone who yeah look karmic cycle this is someone they want you to always be stuck going around and around in some kind of toxic karmic cycle they're sending you this energy of chaos because they want you to be uh it's something too about you being indecisive they want you to always be indecisive you could pay attention to some of you will recognize if somebody is doing some kind of spell work or manipulation towards you because you may find yourself every single time you're trying to move forward you know stepping stone energy you will find yourself with good news and everything is going well. All of a sudden, you get bored. You feel like you need to do something different. Everything is up in the air. Um, somebody is doing that on purpose. So somebody here loves sending chaos magic towards you. This is somebody who is already a hot mess. They, they're, they're really trying to... I'm hearing energy check. This person keeps doing energy check-in reading. So like I said, this could be um, like a reader or something. They're, they're spying on you somehow. And every time they see that you are like at peace, they're like, oh, wait a minute. Look here, you have room. New home, new attitude. When they see that you're at peace or you're doing something different, you know, I don't know if you have social media or something like that. They see you, you look nice or if, you know, maybe with that um, car we saw before too, if you're changing like your, your style, your eating habits, workout, this person's like, oh no. Every time this person sees you do good, they want to sabotage you. Some of you could have recently gotten like a new place, new, you know, home, or you're in the process of home shopping, new car or something. They just don't want you to have anything new.
interesting. Target, a goal-oriented person. Carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. Somebody is targeting you because they know you have a journey. It says staff. You will be taken care of in difficult times. Yeah, you're very protected here. Somebody just knows. Somebody, somebody here, you really could have recently moved. Like, you could be shopping for things for your home in Target. There's a, a ram, a stubborn and aggressive person. Did, with staff being here, um, it says you'll be taking care of in difficult times, but the word staff is here. This person could be someone that you were a part of a staff with them. This could have been somebody that you work with. You have your bread. It's like you have some kind of prosperity and abundance. October is here. That's right now. There's hard work ahead. But it's going to pay off. Scales. It says keep your life in balance. It's time for you to get out of a situation. And then chain. This card, the chain card came out in a reading that I did earlier. Chain of events that will affect your life with I behind it. Psychic ability, trust your intuition. You are on the road to success. So this has to do with a woman. It says dealings or relationships with a woman. So you have a woman um, who is trying to create problems for you. But whatever problems they create, they're only going to be temporary. This person has a problem with the fact that you have um, a home. Like you, you have a new home or you're making your house a home. Um, your, your home also being your physical body, your dwelling. This person has a problem with that. Vase, you have her secret admirer. So this could be somebody who is interested in you as a secret admirer, but this person could be secretly watching you. It's like they admire you, but they hate you too. You have here the bull. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. And then diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Wow, and career. Younger woman. Boom. There we have it. I figured this. This is, for some, like a, an older woman who is targeting possibly a younger woman. You could be in the same line of work or business as this person, okay? You have your woman with psychic ability. This right here could be happening like even in the spiritual tarot community. Somebody is, is really trying to throw some bad juju and chaos towards your, um, your business. And we just had a reading about this jealous envious people in someone's career now it's the same thing here this this energy is really really coming out this is the second reading in less than three days so here in october something is happening libra somebody could have um libra in their chart yeah it's two women here who kind of do the same thing you have woman psychic ability chain younger woman And this is related to, I don't know why there's significance about age. It's definitely something here about age, okay? If you are dating someone, they could have been with somebody in the past who was older or younger or whatever this situation may be. Somebody is really, really upset because maybe somebody likes something about you, but it's something about the age difference. Now, this, if it's a relationship or even if it's, it's work, life, career, somebody feels like something is unfair that you have or you're doing or receiving because I'm assuming you're younger. than I, I feel strong like you're younger than this person. Either you're younger and they feel like you're too successful at a young age or... I mean, it doesn't. It's a personal problem. Married, okay. And then you have here hater. 
somebody wants to knock you down, either because you are married or they know you're on your way to becoming married. Interesting. This could be somebody who is married, eavesdropping, yeah. A peeping tom. This person could be trying to look at, listen to your private conversations. No limits, like, yeah, they, they're obsessed. Witchcraft, wow. And this is a groupie. Somebody here is crying over someone. Sixth house, third house. How one processes knowledge, rules, communication, one's generosity and social life, and what someone does routinely. Their responsibilities, their skills, and training. It says employment and job. I told you, somebody has a problem with what you do for work and how you do it. You could definitely be a person who is like in the spiritual community. Um, you're doing something with spirituality. So you're you're manifesting abundance. They're they're sending magic towards you. And this person, um, I don't know, that they could be clear audience. They are saying that they are receiving downloads or messages, and they claim that they're about you, but they're not. This this person is twisting and turning some energy to support the narrative that they're pushing. This person won't stop doing witchcraft though, and they're they're a groupie. This person also is trying to get other people to team up against you with them. They they won't do all of this mess by themselves. Yeah, split personality. They don't have any limits to how far they will go. This person cannot be trusted at all. Yeah, but the truth is coming out. The truth is going to be exposed, but this card came underneath witchcraft. It's going to be exposed that this person has been doing magic to get what they want. Okay. Distorted masculine. <laughs> distorted masculine came up under groupie. Okay. So for some, this is a distorted masculine. They don't like the fact that you're chilling and you're at peace. So somebody wants to drain your energy. This person could be married and when it comes to their security, their family, siblings, parents, or whatever, something here is fake. So you have a person out here for someone who is married, okay? Look at how the cards came out. Clarify about crying. Somebody here is married, but they're crying over someone else. And they're upset that... You have a new home, a new attitude, new body. You may be getting attention from other people with secret admirer here. And you are standing your ground with this person. You're going on a new journey. Like this is a health journey with carriage here. It makes me think like even like Cinderella, you're going on a new journey, new love, new health, whatever type of journey it is. This is a very stubborn and aggressive person. And they're, so with eavesdropping here, this person could be trying to hack your phone or your devices as well. They're trying to figure out who and what you're doing. This person with six hours, they want to know what are you doing daily? What are you doing with your work? What like what does your routine look like? And this person routinely does witchcraft. Nothing can stop this person. Who you, this person, who you think they are is not who they are. This person is like addicted to sabotaging your life. And they use magic to do this because this person is actually married for some of you. This and out here we have the round and the bull. 
So somebody could have Taurus and Aries in their chart. Taurus, Aries, and Libra are significant. Sabotage. This person wants to sabotage a divine union because in this divine union, you're going to be balling with somebody. <laughs> that's, what, that's what they don't want to see. And it's, yeah, this person is hooked. Somebody is addicted to something or someone. They have addictions. They can't stay away from some kind of substance or whatever. And the fact that you're confident and you're chilling, it has this person very, very upset. Somebody here is talking a bunch of crap about someone and it's because they are in regret about some kind of bad contract or legal issues that they're having. Generous, no money, no talk. This person doesn't want to talk unless they're getting some kind of money from a person. But see, you're in, a, you're in your purpose. You know what you're meant to be doing. So this narcissist is stalking you and you're going to receive evidence very soon that this person is stalking your relationships. And now we have distorted feminine. So this could be a couple, but I, I'm picking up a distorted feminine and masculine. They could be a couple and know each other, or this could be two totally separate energies. You could have a married masculine, though, who is paying a distorted feminine. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Look generous, no money, no talk. This person is paying somebody. To do work on you constantly. And the person that they're paying to do this work is also very narcissistic. That person feels like they can take you out or whatever. And you're going to receive evidence if you haven't already that these people are stalking you. You need to be very careful because somebody could for sure have your phone or something like that. Like they're hacking into something to try and gather some kind of information about you. And, and it's really, they really just want to know what you're doing. I mean, I'm seriously, they want to know what you're doing. It's like they want to know what you're doing and I guess maybe and how you're doing it. This is a copycat. But I mean, it's so, you know, weird and you have to even just call it what it is, which is pathetic, that you have a man that's either paying a wish to do this or this could be a person that they're actually in a relationship with. This is somebody who gave you a lot of false hope. You're not trading your authenticity for appro approval. They don't like that. So somebody just does not like the fact that you're standing your ground with them. They can't stand it. And this could be a man or a woman. Take care of your resume. Whoever it is, they're a narcissist. And they're mad. You don't have romantic thoughts about this person anymore. You know that they're married. You're clearing your mind. Like I said, for some of you, you're doing breath work, yoga, something. Like, you're healing. They hate this. They hate the fact that I'm. you're not addicted to them. They don't like that. Childish. Someone is acting very childish here. Desires. In the wrong way. I feel like for you... Whoever you are watching this, I feel like you stop being childish. You know, and, and that's not anything to, to offend a person. But I just feel like what you want, you want something in your life that's much more um, in alignment with your higher self. You're looking at a situation in a more mature way. So when you realize that you were going the wrong way, you stop. You no longer have romantic thoughts or desires about this person. You don't want you don't want to be on this karmic cycle. It's just what it is. You don't want to be on this karmic cycle with this person. They they don't like that. Halloween is in the reverse. October is out here also. So this is happening now. Your desires are within reach. And the evil eye. Somebody has been sending you the evil eye. Not anymore. This is over. Christmas is in the reverse. So this is somebody here who definitely is a part of like some kind of cult or coven or something. They do a lot of this um, spell work on the ho on holidays and weekends. Wow, I literally just said spell work. Look at what popped out. Spell work. So, mm -hmm. A therapist. Someone needs to visit a therapist. 
obsession. Somebody is obsessed. So somebody needs help. But they're very stuck in their ways. They won't, this person won't go and get any help. You're in your life purpose and going through a transformation. This could cause an altercation because this person is constantly jumping to conclusions about you or your life. Wow. This is just too much. My goodness. So let's just pull a few of the tarot and see what's. Um, again, it's it's too, it's a feminine out here and a masculine. You got a woman out here though that's talking all kinds of crap about somebody, and they regret what they've done. I feel like this, a man and a woman. Like I said, I don't know if they're together or not, but these two people have done something to uh, somebody, and they're both them regret about it. Because this woman, this this toxic woman, this person here runs their mouth a lot. This feels like two people. Yeah, I feel like it's a couple. Somebody in this relationship, though, is missing somebody from the past. It could be you. And they married somebody that has legal issues, financial issues. This person likes to talk a bunch of crap. I feel like both of these people are dealing with some kind of addiction. They may drink a lot or whatever the case may be. But then somebody in this situation is into witchcraft and if one person is doing it, they're both doing it. Because somebody has introduced the other person to something that they've done, I guess, in the past to manifest or to manipulate people or situations. This is two narcissists who are who married each other. But this narcissist, there's somebody in this connection, this marriage, this toxic marriage is still very much obsessed with the divine feminine or masculine. And the fact that they can't have you, they just keep trying to destroy you. But the, the worst part about it is not only are they trying to destroy you, the person that they are with is also trying to destroy you. So this is a couple that's doing magic on somebody. have here the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Swords. The Page of Wands. Somebody wants to leave whoever this witch is. They want to leave and they, they want to offer love to a divine feminine or masculine. Somebody, yeah. Somebody wants to go to be with somebody that they truly love. But that means that somebody has to be cut out of the picture, but they can't cut the person out of the picture that they've been teaming up with to do magic on you with. The Queen of Wands. They that person is not going anywhere. They're they're stuck, they're bound. This person wants to leave whoever they were doing magic on doing binding work and, and death magic on you with. They want to leave that person, but it's like, no, you're stuck. Karma for you is going to be who you end up with. And now they're sick because they know you don't have any romantic thought. The spell work is not working because you don't have any emotions for this person. So the love, the love spells aren't working. The confusion, your mind, your heart, your mind, body, spirit, soul, everything when it comes to this person is, is a no for you. It's Your mind is made up. Somebody here has done something to you that you feel is so terrible. You never want to go back to this situation or this person. So it's over. So whatever they send to you, it doesn't even matter. This is somebody who is extremely toxic, stubborn, and obsessive. But this situation transformed you. Remember we saw Stepping Stones. It transformed your life and helped you to get into your life purpose. So they were a catalyst for you. For you to change your life. Six of Swords, you're moving on peaceful, calm waters. You're going towards partnerships. Um... New collaborations, agreements that are going to take you forward in life. Yeah. 
It's like you've invested in your own future and you're about to be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor with the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody can see Page of Swords and they see how strong you are and they know that this cycle is over because they were foolish. Now this person is draining. They want to cry you a river now because they're out in the cold and they're blocked. And they don't have any access to your wealth, your abundance, your energy. And they can't come towards you with any kind of offer. So... Okay, I'm hearing a song, and the song is called A D A D I D A S, like Adidas. And the guy's name is Ro Jones, I believe. But it's all day. All day, I dream about sexing you, Adidas. All day, I dream about sexing you or something like that. You can look this up. But this person, they, they, they dream and they fantasize about being with this, I, I think I'm going to say divine feminine or masculine all day. And I feel like whatever spell work, especially if it was like sex magic, all of this stuff is backfiring. And then if somebody tries to do magic on a person so that they would not like you or come towards you, that backfired. Now, it seems like if somebody tries to do spell work so that a person wouldn't be attracted to you, the person is sitting up and they're fantasizing, daydreaming, and obsessing about you all day and night. Like, to them, they feel like they have, like, they're hooked to you. This is the result of somebody's spell work. I'm telling you, somebody could have been giving a person some kind of drink. It's a whole lot of cups out here. So the addiction here or the substance, whatever is being abused, is definitely alcoholism for somebody. Because it's a whole lot of cups out here. Yeah, somebody is using all of their money to pay for alcohol. And somebody is stuck between two people or they want you stuck between two people. I just keep hearing that song. Somebody, yeah. Six of Cups, more cups, seven of swords. So somebody from your past has gotten themselves caught up in a situation now and they can't get out of it. This person was trying to drain your energy. They may have said that you were fake or whatever the case may be, but it's like you're chilling. You don't have to prove anything. Everybody knows you're confident in who you are. This situation, wow, ninth house, involves someone's belief systems, religion, higher learning, travel philosophies, and then you have your earth angel and for the cloud. So these people attacked you and did a bunch of stuff to you for cloud and then turned around and decided, oh, well, we want to cop her style or his style as well because they see that you're, you're grown and they're playing games and jealous. And look at this, by <laughs> daydreaming of you, I told you, somebody is like obsessed with you. And I feel like a lot of the obsession is because somebody, they know like they really want to be with you. But also, this is spell work that has backfired. Somebody's love spells have backfired. And I feel like this couple could have been doing work on you together at some point. But it doesn't make sense because somebody, there's a person in this connection that actually is crying over you. They want to be with you. It seems like the masculine in this connection, I don't know if they were under a spell that had them doing things to you before, but it feels like the masculine, I'm going to say, wants to stop doing the spell work. Maybe they're not doing spell work to hurt you. Or they're trying to do spell work to bring you back. But because they've done spell work already to hurt you or to harm you, being vengeful and vindictive, whatever kind of love spells that they do now to try and manifest you, it's backfiring. So whatever somebody is doing now to try to manifest you back, when it comes to them creating blockages, it's actually pushing you more into other situations. Because you can see romantic thoughts is reversed. Childish is re reversed. Desires is reversed. 
wrong way in Halloween. You're not participating in anything dark. You're not conjuring up spirits. You're not going the wrong way. You don't desire this person. You're not willing to be childish and you don't have romantic thoughts about them. So somebody's love magic or whatever has made you completely like repulsed by them. And they can't understand why. And, and, and what it has done is it has made them now obsessed. It, this is either them or if you have a person on the outside trying to make someone that you are supposed to be with um, dislike you, that person now cannot stand the other person and they are completely hooked and obsessed on you. All I know is whatever the situation is, take whatever situation resonates. Somebody's spell work backfired and it backfired bad, but it backfired and it's going 100% in your favor. This, this spell work backfired and I'm telling you, it is going 100% in your favor. If somebody was trying to separate you from a person, they just pushed that person closer to you. If somebody was trying to manifest you back and they know they don't have good intentions, even if you were having problems with yourself trying to get on with this person, you can't stand them now. It's, it's something like that. I mean, it's a major backfire. Like, <laughs> this is not what somebody was hoping for. Look, look. Seeing through the fall, something is clear now. Very clear. And blockages is in reverse. There's no blockages. So somebody could have tried to do like a control spell or a do as I say, come back to me. I had something like that a few weeks ago in a reading. Try all the mess backfired. Now somebody's running from a person. <laughs> they someone come back to me. Now you running. <laughs> running away. <laughs> well. I mean, I don't know what else there is to say. Let me see. Not a wands over here. Yeah, somebody is paranoid. They're paranoid and, and upset because you got somebody else coming in that's going to put in the work. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. The lovers. The Ten of Cups. Wow. Yep, that's what it is. This backfired. Now the love of your life is coming in. All because this person thought they could do spell work. Yep, the Empress and the world. So Divine Feminine, you, you, cre you now have gone through your own spiritual journey and you graduated. You're completely out of this karmic cycle. You, you you can have wish fulfillment, happiness, freedom. You got the closure that you needed. And somebody here is stuck at a crossroads. Feeling very indecisive, insecure. The sun. The ten of wands. Somebody knows that they have nothing but a burden. Ten of wands on their hands with this queen of wands. There is no love here. Ace of cups. This is a couple. Nine of wands. Tempers in the, in the reverse. Nine of wands in the reverse. Like I said, somebody is extremely paranoid. They don't want to go forward with anything, but the tempers is in the reverse. There is no, no peace, no balance, no harmony or anything here in this situation. So this person working with this queen of wands, they destroyed themselves. This, this witch, they have destroyed themselves. And that's their karma, is to be stuck with this person. Four, what I say? Four of Pentacles. They're stuck. Holding on. They're, they're completely bound to this person. Wow. But what they wanted was for you to miss out on your ace of wands. They didn't want you to receive any good news. You have your Eight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. These people knew somebody was coming in who was mature, grounded, stable, ready and willing to put in the work to build something. They wanted to sabotage this with the Hierophant in the reverse. These are some dark spiritualists. Man, how in the world did these cards get in here? We're going to take that as, as a message, though. These cards do not go in this deck at all. <laughs> Intimidated, ex-lover, spirituality, hater, and one-sided love. Well, there's a message. You have an ex-lover. 
and a man for some. You have a lover who is intimidated, who is an ex-lover. Or you have somebody currently in your life who has an ex-lover. They do not like you being in your life purpose. Somebody feels like the situation was one-sided. And so, yeah, they're attacking you. And they do not want you to have the Ten of Cups. They don't want you to ever have happiness. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. You have equal give and take coming. And the tower is going to hit. And they're going to lose. And that's karmic justice being served. All right. So, I'm going to leave it here. Um... Is I, all, I can, all I hear is epic fail. Epic fail. It seems like all of this spell work just reversed. Sex magic, love magic, come to me spells, breakup spells. Literally, these people, they did nothing but pushed you into wish fulfillment. This has to do with the past.